Hey guys, what's up? Today I have a very special pickup video. Now it's a pair of shoes that I've been personally super excited about for a long time. It is the Vans X Blends Style 36 LXs. Once you've been doing this for a while, you know, buying sneakers, buying clothes, hard to get stuff, you kind of get into, I don't know, you kind of get a little desensitized. Like, like things don't really excite you anymore. Like when you see things, you're like, eh, okay, I guess I'll pick that up. But these, like when I saw this, you know, I, I knew I had to get these. These, I was so excited for these. Um, you know, I, I'd rather have these than like a pair of like Yeezys or something like that. I, I, this just like really speaks to me. See, I'm a huge fan of Vans. Um, I'm a huge fan of the, the guys at Blends. I think they're doing a great job. Um, so when I heard that they were coming out with the 7th collab, I, I knew I just had to pick it up. So the shoe itself, um, well actually let's talk about the packaging first because the packaging is actually pretty cool in itself. Now it comes in this kind of fancy box, has like this tonal embossed graphic. Says uh, Vans Vault X Blends, and it slides out. Oop. Comes with a dust bag, super fancy. Dust bag has this cool graphic of um, a wolf with some wings and like a motorcycle, and this like Rocky Mesa in the background, and um, Vans and Blends co-branding. It's I mean it's dope, like. Not every day do I buy shoes with a dust bag. So, um, going, going back to the shoes. So these, they're a Style 36. Now, that a lot of people are not familiar with that model. I personally was not familiar with what a Style 36 was, but apparently a Style 36 is what the famous old schools are based off of. Like, the old schools referenced an old design called the Style 36 and refreshed it. And, um... So this is a pair of uh, only X Vans old schools that I have. So I'm gonna do a quick comparison here. As you can see, the overall shoe itself is like really similar. Um, the silhouette is really similar. Um, the construction is pretty similar. The biggest difference I gotta say is the toe box. The toe box on the Style 36 is a lot shorter than the toe box on the old schools. The old school toe box goes down a lot further versus the Style 36 is just like a little kind of like converse like toe cap that's really short. But apart from that, I mean, it's kind of almost the same shoe in terms of overall silhouette. So now that we got that out of the way, yeah, let's let's actually talk about the, the shoe itself. The um, upper, it's made out of this super premium cowhide leather. Um, it has a super soft hand feel to it. And honestly, it just, I don't know, it looks really nice. The entire upper is wrapped in it. There's like not a single spot on the upper that is uh, not that material. Honestly, this is like kind of like the quality of leather you would expect from like, you know, like more high fashion. But I, I, I don't know. I, I'm a skater kid growing up. Like, I don't really know anything about like fa fancy shoes or anything, but these definitely feel super nice. Moving down, you got kind of like the hallmark design feature of this shoe, the jazz stripe that is in the shape of a bone. Super, super dope. Pretty much like 80% of the reason I bought this shoe just because of this bone jazz stripe. I think it is probably, the, <laughs> I can't get over it. It's like the coolest thing ever. Um, the, the laces here are not just regular laces. They're also uh, black waxed laces. So they kind of have like a little bit of sheen to it and kind of adding to, to the classiness a little bit. So that's super dope. Uh, and the, the tongue, it's just a single piece of leather. It is not gusseted, so it'll move around a little bit. There's not that much padding in here, but it does come up pretty high and it kind of looks pretty cool on foot. Moving down to the midsole. The midsole itself, um, it's not anything super different than you would expect from any other vans. It's just their pretty much signature vulcanized midsole with their black waffle tread pattern. 
Um, so not too much going on there. On the inside, you got this super sick sock liner with the Vans X Blends co-branding. Um, it is actually made out of uh, pig skin. So that also adds a, a, another layer to kind of like the premiumness. Um, this pair of Supreme Vans from last year also has kind of like that premium pig skin sock liner. I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, it, it obviously looks super dope, but when I was wearing those and the, the little amount of time I spent in these, when your foot gets a little sweaty and you're wearing socks, it kind of starts to like slip around in there, kind of like an ice rink. So it's not the most wearer friendly thing, but I mean, the, this shoe isn't really supposed to be like the most comfortable shoe. The there's a little bit of cushioning in here, but you know, you expect the same amount of cushioning you would get from like a pair of regular old schools, you know, the non-pros or a pair of Authentics or Eras or pretty much like any pair of Vans that you've had before um, that are not pro Vans, you know, like without the Ultra Cush, this is how they feel. The sizing is exactly like any other Vans, which is like a little tiny small for me, but um, I mean, that's totally fine. But yeah, um, all in all, and it's like a pretty simple shoe. There's not too much going on. The leather really speaks for itself and it really lets the highlight feature, the bone jazz stripe, come out. So just a black and white shoe, super dope. I will definitely, definitely be wearing this for a long time to come. Thanks for watching the video. I will roll some on-foot footage now. Peace.